Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sachin Malayala. In this particular video, I am going to give you all the details related to CSAB 2022 and I am going to explain each and every process clearly, crystal clear way. I think this video is going to be a bit lengthy and if you watch till the end, you are going to clear all your doubts related to CSAB 2022 for sure. And if you are watching my channel or my video for the first time, please do subscribe and support me and also do share it with all your friends and juniors uh, who are going to prepare or preparing for JE and other entrance exams related to engineering. Chalo, without taking much time let's get into the video and let me clear all your doubts related to csab 2022 so if you see here uh, i am at the official website of csab central seat allocation board this year it is being handled by nit raurkila every year different nits will handle it so this year nit raurkila is handling it under csab you will have three different things one is csab neut and another is csab supernumerary and the actual one which majority applies is csab special so if you go here if you go to csab special under important information they have updated the information brochure so which has each and every single step clearly mentioned I'll leave that link also in the description. Just download that PDF from there. You can also just go through the PDF once. You'll also understand each and everything. So now I'll just explain uh, some important things about CSAB 2022 from the information brochure given by them. So this is the information brochure uh, of CSAB 2022 special rounds for NIDs, IIEST, IIEST, SPA School of Planning and Architecture and GFTIs the schedule this is the schedule tentative schedule so there may be some changes here and there also as of now this is the schedule so they are going to display the number of seats vacant on 25th October so till 25th you need not to do anything but except if you want to uh, hold the seat which you got in JOSA that means in between 90 to 21 you have to pay partial admission fee in order to hold that seat with you even if you are participating in CSAB 2022 in order to hold the seat whichever you have till the last round of uh, JOSA in that case you have to pay partial admission fee if you don't pay the partial admission fee your seat will be cancelled on your name okay please keep that in the mind second thing so the, the registration will start on 26th October so don't just confuse between IAF1 and SRPF I'll just explain it to you uh, with you clearly don't worry at all about what is IAF what is SRPF all those things don't worry at all I'll just explain you don't worry and the registration will end on 28th so 26 27 28 they are going to give three days from 9 a.m. 26th October to uh, 28th October say 5 p.m. in the evening you will be having registration choice filling okay first round allotment will be on 30th October 5 p.m. Sunday and the same same in JOSA like you guys know right freeze slide float these three will be there in JOSA along with this three there will be three more options in CSAB one is surrender second is withdraw third is exit so what is surrender surrender means for example you have one seat with you newly allotted in round one of CSAB or updated in CSAB round one or JOSA seat whatever in the like you have some seat okay with you surrender allotted seat and participate in CSAB special round I don't want this seat I just wanted to try something new in the next round so if at all any seat I, I get from the above options or any option just allot me that uh, like I don't want this seat as of now so that is meant by sur surrender withdraw is I don't want this seat and also I don't want to participate in the next round that is withdraw okay and exit means seat didn't uh, seat not allotted in special round one and not willing to participate in the special round two that is meant by exit okay so in withdraw and exit case and surrender case so based on your selection you are going to get the refund after deducting of processing fee don't worry about the refund each and every rupee will be back after deduction of processing fee so if uh, you already completed your document verification previously and if you already paid seat acceptance fee and the partial admission fee you need not to pay any amount if uh, there is a change in the update in the option if they if someone who have allotted their first time seat first time or if someone who missed paf in that case they have to pay the fees don't worry at all don't confuse just keep it simple you will understand as the process starts you will understand i'll explain how see and the CSAB special round 2 allotment will be on 3rd November and from 3rd November to 5th November you will again have the process like document to upload, respond to candidate to query and uh, seat acceptance fee payment which is IAF2 for newly allotted students and physical verification of PWD candidates will also be there between 3 to 5 if you already completed your physical verification during JOSA it's fine okay now again like uh, physical reporting at allotted institute by all candidates who have confirmed their seat through JOSA 2022 or CSAB special rounds is 4th to 9th November and uh, this uh, this thing no please visit the website you have to visit the official website of your college you will get all the details there okay rather than seeing it 4 to 9 just go to your official website so if you are someone 
like first uh, during application you kept OBC uh, and you didn't submitted any uh, document verification and you got converted to general and if you want again go back to OBC there is one more option for of all, all of you guys so for that request uh, it is going to start on 20th October but that means day after tomorrow and online request ends on 23rd October 5 p.m. so like la if there is any mistake again they will raise a query before 25th if you reply back and if you submit whatever they ask so again you are going to come back to your OBC category so for example during application you kept OBC you were unable to submit the proper documents and your seat got cancelled and you got converted to general during those arounds if that is the case if you once again wanted to go back to OBC you can again submit the request you will go back to the OBC so if it, this is the same with anyone like SC, ST, EWS people also, PWD also CSAP special round counseling process what is the process first is online registration who all can register so this is what really important and I guess this is like very confusing here I will just clearly explain just watch it so whoever didn't register in JOSA till now didn't register in JOSA directly if you want to register for CSAP yes you can register that is type 1 and second type is they have participated in JOSA but they didn't got any seat in JOSA they can also participate in CSAP okay type 3 candidates who have appeared in JOSA 2022 they got seat but because of uh, non-payment of seat acceptance fee after getting seat they have to pay seat acceptance fee right if you didn't pay that fees your seat will be cancelled right still now you will be allowed to uh, again participate for CSAP 2022 type 3 done fourth type they have got seat but uh, they got exited from the JOSA 2022 counseling process in that case also they can participate in CSAB candidate participated in uh, JOSA they got into IAD okay their seats have been cancelled after document verification or they have withdrawn from their allotted seats or they have taken admission therein so even if you joined IAD also still you can participate in CSAB 2022 so after the sixth round if you got into some IAD still you can participate in the CSAB 2020 you can see they have taken the admission therein okay in IIT uh, type 6 what is the type 6 candidate who have participated in JOSA 2022 they got seat in NIT plus system and secured admission I mean after the sixth round they paid parcel admission fee still they can participate sixth type done seventh time so they got seat they paid fees but later they have uh, they have withdrawn their allotted seat in that case also they can participate they got some seat due to document verification mistakes their seat has been cancelled and after that they didn't got any seat allotment in JOSA in that case also they can participate in CSAP 2022 they got seat they paid seat acceptance fee but somehow their parcel admission they didn't pay the parcel admission fee they also can participate in CSAB 2022 so this is the list okay now how much they have to pay and all that I'll be discussing as we move forward so this is online registration this is the important thing again payment of SREF third thing third thing will be online choice filling and locking automatically it will get locked you need not to lock special round one allotment will be there check the allotment you have to will submit the willingness freeze slide float again and withdraw exit surrender these three also will be added total six options will be there for you and again special round two will be there and then physical reporting at the allotted institute registration though I have already explained who are all eligible done so coming to payment of special round enrollment fee okay so SREF is special round enrollment fee so just leave all this just leave all this I will say oh, easily like uh, how much you have to pay and all clearly okay I will say how much you have to pay so once uh, the registration is going to start on 26th right 26th 9 am they are going to start so open the CSAB 2022 website just log in with your login details they will ask your jmens uh, password i guess jmens application number and jmens password so with that you can log in so once after logging in so they will ask you for the registration if you want to register yes click tick all those things and click on pay so whatever amount it shows you have to pay that amount and register if it shows 3000 pay 3000 and register if it shows 38000 pay 38000 and register if it shows 43000 pay 43,000 and register so whatever amount it shows after clicking pay online you have to 
pay that amount and then only you will be allowed for choice filling in josa before paying like uh, without paying you can fill the choices but in csab 2022 without paying they will not allow you to fill the choice and guys whatever whoever is asked to pay 3000 that 3000 is non refundable and if you pay that 8000 3000 they will take remaining 35000 will be transferred to the college in which you join if you don't join any college again the amount will be refunded back so this is like 3000 for some people it will last 3000 for some people 38000 for that for some 43000 for some it is like 18000 they may ask so based on your profile based on your profile they will check how much you paid earlier through josa whether you paid CDAC acceptance fee uh, whether you paid partial admission fee they will check if you didn't pay it, according to that they will adjust this fees and accordingly they will show there this much amount you have to pay so accordingly only you have to pay don't worry so don't get confused yourself reading all this stuff so online choice filling and lock-in you guys all know it uh, how to do and all so regarding next thing is special round one allotment once after seed allots uh, you have to check your allotment you have to submit via willingness like freeze float slide surrender exit withdraw six options will be there this time last time only four or three options freeze float slide okay then special round two and same process repeat again if you get new option so you have to go according to it so after that physical reporting at allotted institute so you have to check the official websites of uh, your college in which you got allotted and according to the process they give you just proceed with that that's it and next fee adjustment and refund uh, see they have already said this 3000 rupees is non-refundable and non-adjustable whatever remaining amount you pay each and every rupee will be transferred to the college in which you are joining if you are not joining the college after second round of CCB special round if you don't want to join there you want your money back in that case you have to write an application to the college in which you have lastly see uh, lastly have the seat for example i have still csab special round two i have seat in an eddie or angle i don't want to join so now i have to uh, like mail or write a letter or write a post to the admission team of nid varangal saying that i don't want to join the college please refund my amount they will take some processing charges and refund you the amount so don't worry before special round two if you want to withdraw from special round one in that case csab will refund you after special round two institute will refund you okay please keep that in the mind so if your college asks you to uh, like uh, submit some agreement so mostly during offline reporting these uh, when colleges will ask this so mostly i guess for uh, for now iid colleges uh, like iids may ask this actually so agreement to be executed by candidate for participating in csab 2020 special round so you have to take print out of this particular form and fill your name roll number jms roll number and uh, son of or daughter of and uh, resident of your address so that i have secured admission in as of now which department which institute you have to write this so that i have opted to go for special round 2022 for admission in nits iast okay that's what so you have to submit this so there may be chance for some institutes like iits because iit is asking for students to come before the special rounds only so NIT is of course anyhow the it is going to start after special rounds so mainly IIT students they may need this if you want to participate in CSAB 2022 so others also just keep it download it and keep it with you if they ask you you can just uh, provide it so that's it for this video guys i hope you got a very good information out of this particular video uh, so please do share this channel to all your friends and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and also do comment and also do share this video to all your friends so that's it thank you for watching uh, see you in the next one till then take care bye bye Jai Hind.